right, all right, all right. Well, it is Saturday morning. It's like 10 o'clock, a little after 10. And Scout's got about maybe five more minutes of mowing. Uh, this is, I think this is our largest property. I don't remember how many acres it is. It's it's a couple acres. But um, you can see this big section. It goes, and it goes all the way over there to that those trees. And then it comes behind this. It doesn't really go by in the house much. You can see the neighbors, that the brown barn back there, that's the neighbors. And we go right to where the hill starts going up. And then this is this customer's pole barn. Go all the way around it and back along, a little bit along there on that side. And then this big center section where I'm standing right now, there used to be three trees, bam, bam, and bam. She had them taken down a couple years ago. That one, she had actually left the trunk up about 20 feet. She was gonna have a, like kind of like a uh, carving, wood carving done, like eagles and all that stuff. And uh, ended up not being in her budget after all. So I ended up cutting down the trunk and hauling it away. So what I'm gonna do next is I'm getting the combi system. I got it sitting over there on the ramp. I gotta hook, put the hedge clipper on there and I am going to trim that, that tree. I forget what they're called, like a banyan tree or something like that. It, I probably trim it three times a year. And she basically, when I want when I trim it, she wants it like right down to where it's basically, there's down to nothing, down to the stems. And it'll be like this again in about a month and I'll do it again. So she wants to keep it tight, small. So there's the only way you can do it, hack it down. So I'll do a couple let I'll do a couple passes. Kind of rude of them to turn my direction. Untreated, untreated lawn. Um, and you get these like little flowery things. You guys help me out. I don't know what you call these things. But these little whippy doos, that's what I call them. They're a pain, but he's going slow to give it a fighting chance because I can't stand it when you have to go back over a lawn just to cut those down. This yard's really, really rough, so that's also another reason why he's going slow. We are running uh, their Copperhead high lift short tails, like Countryside always recommends. We are cutting this at two and a half inches. Customer always wants this property butchered right down. And uh, the only place that it really grows heavy is over there. That's where the septic field is. And it goes, that gets thick. That, a lot of times we're not able, we're not cutting it at two and a half, but this out here is just all weeds. There's like no grass. And uh, two and a half inches. She, this would be the perfect yard to really get serious. It's big and flat in this net. And we can have some sick stripes in this thing. Um, if it was like a treated lawn, oh my God, it'd be the poster child lawn. It would be the poster, poster child lawn. So, but apparently maybe treating it's not in her budget. I might talk her into it though. So, anyways, it's getting ready to storm, I think. So I need to get after and get that tree done. Give it another quick. Here, that's not my ditch mess. You know, I cleaned up this section. And you can kind of see the border. So, yeah, big yard. Later.